How's it going guys? Easy PC here back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 best PC cases for hard drive storage. I thought why not talk about this <laughs> to make a video to go along with the blog post over on the website while stuck inside under quarantine. Hope you guys are doing okay. Let me know what you guys have been doing, what games you've been playing during this lockdown if you're watching during the outbreak. Uh, if you're after the outbreak, well, I guess you know what I'm talking about. Either way, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, you're going to see a mix of me trying to play Insurgency and being pretty bad at it, so I just kind of edited the clips together to uh, only show you the good parts, and at the end you're going to see some super hot footage. Anyway, starting off with the first case, I went for the Fractal Design Node 804. This is actually a micro ATX case, but it has a crap load of drive storage. This thing is compact, it has terrific airflow, a lot of storage space. Actually, I believe it can fit up to eight three and a half inch drives. Uh, and actually on the, on the floor of the case you can uh, mount an additional uh, two two and a half inch drives or SSDs which means you have a total of 10 drives you can fit in this bad boy and it's a micro ATX case. The only complaint that I have with this thing is the fact that its cable management can get tricky with you know considering it has so much room for fans and hard drives and all that stuff uh, it can be tricky to do cable management but for those of you who are expert cable managers you'll find a way and considering this thing is so small it is great it's actually on my list of the best NAS cases as well if you want to make a homemade NAS system you can check that out on my website as well if you like Either way, moving on to the next case, this thing is an absolute monster, and it looks totally badass. This is a Thermaltake View 91. This thing is a super tower, and it actually can fit 12 3.5 inch drive bays, and I think it actually has more than 12 in, uh, that it can fit on the ground, but it definitely has 12 drives with, you know, hot swappable, toolless drive bays in this case. This thing is humongous. Uh, aside from the 12 drive bays, it also has terrific airflow, and an awesome design i mean it's got you know two tempered glass side panel windows on either side and enough room for like i think 12 fans you can mount i believe four fans in the front four fans on top uh and i think eight fans on one of the side panels and one on the back so yeah it's a fucking ton of fans the design's awesome the rgbs that come with the fans included look sick and again, you can fit a ton of drives in addition to, you know, a custom water loop, plenty of radiators, whatever you want. This thing can do it. It supports up to, um, I think, extended ATX or even maybe the extra large motherboard. So this thing is pretty dope. Uh, but bringing it back down to size and going back to reality, I went for the third case, the Fractal Design R5. This is a typical mid-tower case from Fractal Design. Uh, again, they are a really, really good manufacturer. This thing is pretty sturdy. It has a nice design and very modular, so the drive base can actually be removed from their standard configuration and configured in a multitude of different ways, as you can see in this video, which is pretty sick. And yeah, it makes it really, really awesome for drive storage. You can actually fit up to eight traditional three and a half inch drives in this puppy. And I believe the back of the motherboard actually has room for two more solid state drive mounts, which is pretty sick. The only thing I don't really like about this case is that it doesn't have standard looking five and a quarter inch bay covers, meaning uh, when you do install a an optical drive if you choose to, it might look a bit weird with the rest of the case, which I'm not really a huge fan of. I think the designers could have done a better job in that department, but you know what? You can't get everything you want, and uh, there's always other options as well. So that being said, moving on to the next case on our list. I actually went for the Corsair 750D. This is a well-respected company uh, in the PC gaming community because they consistently create kick-ass products and the 750D is no different. In fact, this thing excels in terms of hard drive storage space. If you hear my phone going off there, sorry, my phone is buzzing. It excels in terms of hard drive storage space. Uh, and, it, and just like the last case, the R5, the drives can be configured differently or removed altogether pretty easily with a modular screw system. So you can mount them all in a stack on the front panel. You can do them side by side on the bottom of the case. So there's a lot of customization potential here and it's going to help you out if you want to add some sort of radiator or other kinds of things to your case. You can really play around with the setup and make it your own. Uh, this thing dwarfs in size in comparison to the 900D, but that's to be expected considering the 900D is a full tower, super tower monster. Um, and again, this thing is pretty sweet. Behind the brush aluminum finish front panel, you'll find two 120mm fans and a removable dust filter. And the top of the case also has a really large magnetic dust filter, which can be pretty much just peeled off, revealing mounting options underneath. 
Um, I mean, this case is great for dusty environments. So now we're gonna move on to the fifth and final case on our list, the Fantex Entho Pro MTG. Hope I'm saying that right, I might not be. But the Hardware Canucks did a really, really good review of this case. There's actually room for up to eight three and a half inch drive bays in this case with the easy mounting brackets. But unfortunately, the last the thing I don't like about the case is that the, the mounting brackets are not included. I think two drive brackets at the top of the case come included, so you can mount two three and a half inch drives at the top of the case and a single two and a half inch bracket behind the motherboard tray. So you can mount up the three drives by default. You can mount two uh, mechanical drives, three and a half inch mechanical drives, and a single solid state drive in the 2.5 inch variety. But you can actually mount up to eight three and a half inch drives as long as you buy the extra goodies, which you know, I wish they include that, but they didn't. Either way, the rest of the case, again, is super, super cool. It's got a unique uh, thing at the bottom where you can store your own power supply. It's like a power supply shroud, which is going to help with cable management. All around, really good case. Cool side panel window. One drawback, though, aside from the non-included drive bays, is the flexible panels. The, the actual case itself is pretty sturdy, but the side panels are a bit flimsy. I don't know. That's the only thing I, I would uh, adjust. But if you want to go for a few, full review of this case, or all these cases, you can check it out on my website. The URL is easypc.io slash pc-cases slash hard drive storage, all with dashes. I'm going to have the link down below. As, and as always, all the links to Amazon can be found down below. Hopefully you guys are surviving the zombie apocalypse, and by zombie apocalypse I mean coronavirus outbreak, but uh, either way, what games do you guys play? And I'd love to know. If you want, you can maybe add me on Steam. I've got that on my website about page. Uh, hope, you, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did enjoy, and if you didn't, you know what to do. Either way, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.